Hello, my beautiful and dear Libras. This is your horoscope for July 2024. And July will be amazing month. This is the month to start, to initiate, to begin whatever is in your mind. Because August, guess what? We have Mercury retrograde. And as you might know, Mercury is the planet of signing contracts. And Mercury is the planet of thoughts, planet of deal, you know, uh, and contracts going retrograde, meaning moving backwards, slowing down, a lot of confusion, you know, miscommunication, mismatches. So better in August to, you know, postpone all those papers to sign uh, until September or actually July. July is your month to go, my dear Libras, to do all the things that is in your head. To begin things, that is, you plan and initiate things. Now, you know, uh, according to your chart, uh, July seems like you will be preoccupied with the thoughts of home, with the thoughts of your social stance, like who you are in a bigger society, and mostly about your family situation, the one that you come from and the one that you actually created or you are planning to create. And, you know, those topics will be activated by new moon and full moon. Each month we have one new moon and one full moon. Now, let's start with July horoscope for you and it will start from the beginning from 2nd July. 2nd July will be active day, uh, planetary speaking uh, you know, astrologically speaking because on 2nd July there will be quite a lot of planets moving, <laughs> changing positions. Now 2nd July will have Mercury moving into your 11th house. Right from the beginning of July, seems like you will be your thoughts uh, might come to the point where you will be thinking, planning for your future, for you know, ahead, what's ahead, what you want in life and your um vision for your future life actually and hopes and wishes because 11th house is all about that our hopes our wishes and also friendships as soon as mercury hits your 11th house on 2nd july it seems like your friendship is getting buzzy my dear liberals a lot of friends might reach out or you might reach out to your friends you might miss this kind of you know a life kind of communication going out quite a lot of invitation you might receive those invitations you know especially to big kind of events because 11th house rules events that are for where huge amount of people gather like maybe it's a it's a football match <laughs> or maybe it's a concert or maybe mm, some big art event where like a lot of a lot of people thousands of people gather so that's all about 11 house you know so mercury is coming here you might receive invitation to those mm, such kind of event by by the beginning of july and you might be very excited about it now Mercury will stay for the most of July in your 11th house. So it seems like July will be for you buzzy with your friends, events, you know, and your thoughts will be on your future, kind of. But on 26th of July, by the end of, you know, the month, Mercury will move out into your 12th house. That will be the time when you will have to, like, sort of, you will need and you might crave for rest. You know, 12th house is the most hidden uh, house of our chart. It's a private house. Everything that is happening behind the doors, everything that you do alone, everything that you do not, by, you know, not showing um, behind the closed doors, those things are 11th house. Now, it seems like Mercury coming to there, it, you might be craving actually for some rest or you might be also planning some long kind of distance trip or maybe trip to some near water or near nature because 12th house is all about that. You know, it's our rest house. Maybe some retreat or maybe some... It might be for some of you about like medical retreat, treatments, uh, not necessarily something serious, but something just like, you know, um, health wise, well being wise kind of treatments you might do. And, you know, Mercury and in the 12th house, it also indicates that you might do some work. Um, alone like like some research where you spend quite a lot of time sitting alone and um, researching something um and it's more like a detail oriented kind of <laughs> work um also uh when we have mercury in the 12th house uh, it actually gives us uh, kind of you know it's a, it's a rest time but at the same time because mercury is the planet of thought and thinking and whatever we speak uh it's coming to our house of sleep it's a uh, 12 houses also rules our sleep uh, the time when we sleep because it's you know private house it's a dark house <laughs> uh, to uh, say and um, mercury in the 12th house might indicate uh, insomnia like uh, it might you might have quite a lot of thinking uh, and a hard time to get good and quality sleep so at that time try to you know practice uh, meditation maybe before you go sleep or so that you you know slow down and cool down your thoughts in your head your brain you know <laughs> before you go sleep now mm, coming back to that second 
July. On 2nd July, we have another planet, Neptune. And Neptune is the planet of magic and imagination. And I love this planet because it's a planet of, you know, all the things uh, that we can manifest. It's a magic planet. It's an imagination, our intuition planet also. Now, this Neptune uh, will go retrograde on 2nd of July for almost half a year until 8th of December. So until end of the year, practically, in your house of work and in your house of health. Sixth house. Sixth house, you know, rules our day-to-day -day life, everyday regime. And that's when where this Neptune will retrograde in your chart. Uh, you know, what does it mean retrograde? Meaning moving backwards, slowing down. This planet, um, it's kind of a repeating you know <laughs> after his bigger brother saturn because saturn is already went uh, already went retrograde on 29th of june because uh, saturn um, went retrograde exactly in the same house sixth house in your chart uh, the house that rules your work and day-to-day -day life and regime until 15th of november so pretty much both of them you know retrograding moving slower meaning uh until end of the year and these two planets are a bit of a heavy planets meaning uh, karmic planets so they are they are influenced mostly on subconscious level mostly on our uh, soul evolution level you know it's kind of a background noise let's say <laughs> what is always in your head what is always what comes like when you rest what comes to your head you know this is Saturn and Neptune these planets are like a background kind of influence and until like next half of the year of 2024 these two planets will color this your thoughts about your work about your day-to-day -day regime about your health you know it seems like some of you might go and hit the gym maybe you've um, gave up like this gym before and now you're going back to the same activities that you've done before like um, maybe you, you might uh, start a diet maybe <laughs> back again some things that you've done before but you've stopped doing and these two planets indicating that moving backwards going back to those things that you've done before you know health wise your uh, well-being kind of maybe thoughts will be hitting under these two planets retrograde motion for some of you it might be solely about work and your job because uh, you know these two planets retrograding in your sixth house meaning job and day-to-day um, -day work you might be you know it's like in our head some thoughts time to time coming popping up like you might be thinking quite a lot about your uh, colleagues or your assignments actually or it might be about your boss or manager and you might be thinking also about work uh, like your previous place of work it might be that um, your previous colleagues or your manager ex manager let's say um, going to be contacting you during next half year it, it is a possibility too there so about the sixth house there is also um you know sixth house rules our day-to-day -day life for some of you it might be about your regime about your schedule what we do uh, every day like you know what is our schedule and it seems like for the next half year some things are changing like it might be for the next half year let's say you will be working um night shift or vice versa if you've been working night shift then day shift like you see your uh, regime is changing or maybe you are let's say taking someone so let's say children for care there could be any any sort of reason but i'm just giving you some examples um and you might change your also day-to-day -day regime for that uh, particular assignment you know that you need to take care of someone or maybe about your parents they are moving like they are staying with you for the next half year and you might be taking care of them or you might be taking care of your kids mm, there could be you know many possibilities but the main thing here these two planets will give you sort of um, <laughs> kind of that day-to-day um, -day life that was before somehow in your life uh, it might repeat there is a pattern now coming back to july 11th of july venus planet of love and beauty it's your ruler my dear libras <laughs> it's the planet of money also venus will move into your same 11th house this friendship house that is buzzing since the beginning of july now when venus hits your 11th house that's amazing because you know 11th house is the house of future it's our uh, hopes and wishes what we hope you know for our future what is our vision of our future and when venus comes here it's it makes it beautiful colorful <laughs> you know it gives this kind of touch uh soft touch and um, more romantic touch you might be quite a lot of romanticizing let's say about your future and putting quite a lot of positive um 
uh, people, you know, positive situations into your vision board, which is amazing because we all need to be on the positive vibrations for things to happen. Uh, we all know that. <laughs> now, um, also, uh, 11th house, because 11th house also rules your friendships, you know, friends. It might be so beautiful communications between your friends, especially, you know, Mercury is also there transiting your 11th house. Seems like your friends will be, they might be even giving you, showering some gifts, or you might be actually showing how much you appreciate them and love them. You might be buying maybe some gifts, maybe it might be some, someone's birthday, and there will be you know friendship bonds actually that will be deepening and making beautiful your life and the 11th house as i said it's a house of big events it's a house of where we have all those you know concerts where all the people like gather quite a lot if you have such an you know you, you might have such an event to attend because of the mercury like planet of you know um invitations <laughs> you might get this invitation and you might crazy love that event you will have a blast my dear libras if you will um you know take the chance and visit that event and you will most probably you might remember it forever and also 11th house is the house of uh, internet online social media since the beginning of july it seems like you will be uh, you know on top of your game <laughs> social media wise it seems like you might uh, be quite active on may, might be instagram or any type of social media actually and you might be following some trends and actually shooting beautiful videos as well and reels and <laughs> content let's say and you know venus and mercury here both will give you that um with the charming energy to you know achieve um, let's say to gain more followers to gain uh, more kind of activity on your uh, social media page because this is internet house now next we have new moon 6th of july in your house of career my dear libras now uh this is the highest point of your chart my dear libras and you know when we look at the clock so where is the 12th that is in the chart is the 10th house now 10th house because it's the highest house in our chart it rules everything that is related to our career to our aspirations where we are moving towards in our life and where we want to be you know and 10th house is also house of social status who we are in a bigger society what we portray like what kind of role we play in a bigger society and um, you know new moon in your 10th house it's amazing and this new moon is such a positive pitch i just cannot stop telling about this new moon <laughs> new moon is this new moon will be amazingly positive because two planets um actually all the planets will be so supportive of this new moon and especially saturn um, planet of uh, you know um, responsibilities and hard work and also discipline will um, support this uh, new moon from your house of work and health and mars planet of activities you know planet of motivation this is our engine mars will support this new moon from your financial house shared kind of finances you know the money house now new moons are all about new beginnings some stories are beginning in your life some some situation is coming into your life and always remember to give new moons and full moons any new moons and full moons around 10 days of influence you know it not it's um it might not be exactly on 6th of july when new moon appears you have a news it might be like within 10 days it appears you know so five days before and five days after uh we all will get our portion of news of this new moon and those of you who are born around 6th of october special especially plus or minus five days will be affected the most because this new moon is happening at 14 degrees now 10 house because it's a career house seems like there might be a job offer on the table for you my dear libras or there might be a new position or um some sort of kind of new certificate might be also if you are studying it might be a graduating or now you are becoming um a professor or researcher some sort of new social status new achievement is there and it's happening in your career house and for some of you it might be if you say that you know there is nothing new around my career and my job uh, there is no new job offer or i i'm happy with my position my company then it might be about your social status it might be let's say you're becoming parents if that's the case congratulations my dear uh, libras or it might be you're finding out actually that you will become a parent uh, you're finding out that you're pregnant let's say or it might be that you're a grandparent now you know if you're at that age so this is about any type of you know social status if you're a student and you might be graduating and now you know finally um getting your degree 
and um, getting your diploma from a university or also um, you might become an aunt or any any sort of actually social you know that brings us kind of a, um, this status in a bigger society now uh, because this is new moon uh, it's like you know new energy is born and your reputation is rising here uh, anyhow this is a very positive new moon something um, you might get very powerful around something you know because this new moon will give you that influence and will give you that power also for some of you it might be about your father's life uh, if you say nothing is happening in my life nothing is happening like let's say around my career then it might be about your father's life or your manager's life because 10 house you know rules all those people that we respect that we look at them look up at them like and uh, we want to learn something from them or we aspire to be like them and it's like either your father or your manager or your boss you know it might be in their life something is very important happening that will be affecting your life too and here it might be also the possibility of getting married my dear Libras because new moon in your 10th house will, might give you um, you know um, you've been a single and now you're married new social status because Mars naturally that is supporting new moon you know naturally in your chart rules your relationship house your committed relationship house and Saturn naturally that is supporting your new moon uh, th that new moon uh, naturally rules in your chart house of home and family something like dear to your heart coming to fruition around this new moon you know has you you you've grown a seed here in this new moon it's now will start growing my dear Libras some things might be like uh, around your uh, relationships around your family also and I'm really really happy and can't wait to hear all about please leave a comment on what is this new moon all about in your life I would be really happy for you now let's move uh, next to Mars planet of uh, energy you know it's our engine that sits inside of us that moves us to create things to make things done you know and Mars is that planet that is like planet of activity it's like let's go let's go planet it never stops it doesn't have a patience and on 15th of July by mid of July Mars will connect with uh, Uranus now Uranus is a planet of surprise and also planet of electricity it's connected to electricity and electrical shock that's why you know in astrology you never know what this planet might bring in your life and especially connecting with Mars the planet that has no patience it's a bit of a um, you know explosive kind of aspect but here looking at your chart I see more positive aspect because other planet Neptune as I said planet of magic imagination and uh, you know uh, intuition this planet is a let's say mild planet this planet is more soft and it's more heavier and this planet will give that soft touch to both of this uh, Mars and Uranus and they are uh, it will make their connection more uh, gentle more softer and Neptune will be situated in your a workhouse you know it's a retrograding in your workhouse health house and the Mars and Uranus you know Mars uh, and Uranus they will connect in your financial house shared income house now the you know eighth house is not the money that you earned is the money that comes to you through other people for example like your husband money or your wife money or inheritance or it might be some governmental support it might be some um, you know scholarship if you're a student some funding you know from other sources like some other source funding now and these two planets connecting exactly in your eighth house and Mars rules your naturally rules your relationship you know committed relationships and Uranus rules your true love house you see how this love kind of topic is you know activated here by these two planets in your um, financial house seems like for most of you it might be about actually your um, family budget or if you're in a divorce process it might be about the um, you know settlement of um, assets between you and your husband or ex-husband or ex-wife uh, so this connection of Mars and Uranus happening in your financial house and involved about your relationships or it might be about a custody you know uh, around your kids or it might be actually also related to real estate you know that you share with others or inheritance some of you might get actually inheritance and it will be quite a surprise for you my dear Libras or it might be about your um, 
actually some sort of offer that is related to your colleagues. Maybe one or of your colleague or even your manager might offer something related to finances or uh, that loan that you have, like some sort of help might come by, you know, it might catch you by surprise. And eighth house is also house of conception. Now here, my dear Libras, if, you know, you were wishing to, you know, and you are on that fertility journey, this is amazing connection between these two planets. It might give you that desired child, you know, it might give you that <laughs> desired, um, positive answer that you are pregnant. Let's say if you, let's say, don't wish to have a kid, then, uh, careful around 15th of july <laughs> so that um you know news will not catch you by surprise let's say now uh, for some of you you know eight house is also house of health and neptune is exactly retrograding in your house of health too and you know mars uh being connected to Uranus seems like, you know, Mars is the planet that rules also everything, all the objects that are sharp, like knives, uh, and even surgical knives. So it might be that there could be some possibility of surgery that needs to be done. And that will come to you also by, you know, uh, very shocking and surprising. And it might not be something very, you know, serious, but uh, at the same time, because both of your health house are activated and also Mars is here. And it seems, you know, it seems like for some of you, it might actually indicate some sort of operation or surgery to, to, to be done. And it will come exactly around 15th of July. So take care on that around that day, those days. And uh, also it has, you know, rules, all sorts of investments what we invest, like, especially for those of you guys who are like, uh, crypto enthusiasts, <laughs> you know, or any type of shares and uh, any instruments that we invest in. And Mars here, you know, connecting very, with Uranus might give you, let's say, a huge success and sudden success, a very good investment opportunity might come your way, my dear Libras. Now let's move with this Mars to 20th of July, because on 20th of July, Mars will move out from your eighth house where it connected with Uranus and will move into your ninth house. Ninth house is amazing place to host Mars because it's a place of uh, travel. It's a place of, uh, you know, house of all things foreign. Ninth house is that uh, it rules all things and places foreign and it rules immigration also, rules illegal things in education. It's the higher mind house where, you know, uh, usually when people travel, their mind is expanding, right? Your vision to life is expanding. And ninth house is exactly about that. Like it's a higher mind house when our mind is more, let's say, broadened and we have, um, let's say, much more and clearer different perspectives, you know, um, to our life. Now, Mars happening in your ninth house, you know, moving into your ninth house around by the end of July, it seems like you might travel somewhere. You might travel very far somewhere that you've been wishing actually. And you might like that timing also. And some of you might be actually busy with the documents like immigration documents or all those visa related and foreign kind of documents, you know, um, like residence permits, passports, set citizenships, everything that related to this legal documents, also legal affairs and foreign affairs, all about this this is exactly in our ninth house some of you it might be that busy time when mars will make you like apply to those things or reapply uh, you know submit more papers or resubmit and like all things will come around end of may if you've been waiting in news around your application if you've applied already before you might get it by the 20th of july for some of you, it might be actually about second marriage because nine house is also, you know, it rules our second marriages house. <laughs> if you are in that part, you know, stage of life, for those of you, you know, who are getting married in second time, when Mars moves exactly on, on 20th of July uh, into your ninth house, those things might happen. Now, ninth house is also all about, you know, education higher education where we go to study some of you might already go for some study or enter university or you might get a news of acceptance letter let's say or um you know, confirmation that you're going to be studying somewhere in a foreign land because ninth house is that far you know and for some of you it might be about publishing because ninth house rules everything that is publishing like a book research or article um 
like whoever of you guys writing a book or writing things this time will be quite busy because mars will make you like quite active around your masterpiece that you're creating and even like you know contacting editor or editors or publishing house and it will be quite a lot of uh, work around that time or you might get news about your book or article or you might submit actually to and trying to find a publishing house all those things you know might come to your attention now let's move to the full moon of the month 21st of july we have full moon in your house of family and how fourth house that full moon will be connected with pluto planet of transformation and rebirth now pluto you know it will be situated in your house of true love it's a house of joy it's a house of children you know it's a house where we create things now uh full moon will happen at 29 degrees and meaning those no sorry 20 yes 29 degrees uh, meaning those of you who are born on 22nd of october plus or minus five days meaning last days of libra season a sun sign will be affected the most now full moons are all about endings they are all about conclusions to the situation to the people or to a thing that's been already there in your life you know well uh, it's not, not um it's never about something new it's something that is coming to an end or full moons also uh you know they act in a way that they put uh, your attention to a, some person or some situation uh, or something in your life that needs your immediate action that needs your immediate attention and some sort of resolution so that you take action on that situation maybe it might have been that you're not noticing that situation or just ignoring but this full moon comes in and will put your attention to that situation that's how full moons work and again allow full moons 10 days not necessarily exactly it appears 21st of july allow it 10 days five days before five days after so within 10 days we all will get our portion of our news from this new moon now uh, sorry full moon now this full moon is a rather positive one because full moon will be amazingly supported by mars mars is the planet of action planet of motivation you know it's a go like go and get planet kind of <laughs> and mars will be situated in your travel house in your foreigners house nine house now that Mars will be still in a let's say wide conjunction connection with that Uranus planet of surprises that was hap that happened around 15th of July and uh, another planet that will support that full moon will be Neptune planet of magic and imagination and also our um, illusions <laughs> now Neptune will be you know retrograding in your house of work day-to-day life and health and you know full moon is already in conjunction with pluto that's a very very uh, strong full moon because pluto is the planet of transformation it and this full moon is happening in your house of family my dear uh, libras it seems like uh, your family is coming to your attention to your immediate attention it doesn't matter uh, you know for some of you it might be the family that you came from or and for some of you it might be the family that you've created you know so it seems like by this full moon your family situation is changing like for example the number of people in your family this full moon is coming to you know usually full moons are um bringing some end maybe your let's say brother is moving out going for studies or your son is moving out and going for studies and not will not be living with you anymore you know as a your parent let's say or your parents vice versa finding i i, I don't know deciding that they are they will immigrate somewhere like some other city or some other country even and they will not be anymore living with you so it seems like you this situation around like a family you know family number is changing or let's say your brother or sister getting married and your family is growing vice versa and now like you have more family member you know to your family or giving birth let's say you are giving birth or someone from your family giving birth and your family again uh, growing and it's changing here it could be you know all sorts of situation i can give you many examples but the main point here is that something is happening within your family you know situation and also for some of you it might be about exactly your mother let's say uh you, you you say it's not about my family nothing is happening but it might be particularly about your mother because four house is also you know rules our mothers maybe in their life your mom's life something is happening and it's affecting you you know maybe your mom let's say finding out that she's pregnant or let's say she she's getting married or she's moving out or she's immigrating or you know all sorts of things and it might be that uh, you know your mom will bring you let's say a news and uh, 
For some of you, if you say it's not about my family, it might be about the real estate, where we live, our living situation, because four houses is all about our living circumstances, where we live, is it a house, is it an apartment, is it a, like whatever is actually, <laughs> um, any sort type of real estate, uh, like where you live, place where you live. Now, it might be that you're immigrating, let's say. It might be actually by the end of July you are immigrating to another country because four house rules immigration, like you are changing your place of living, you know, or you are selling apartment where you're living, let's say, or a house or vice versa, buying apartment or buying a house, any type of real estate, actually, even even if it's for investment, you know, let's say you're not living there, but if just for as an investment, you might be, you know, having making a deal there around this full moon, 21st of July, buying or selling this real estate. Or it might be, let's say, you are just changing your um, renting apartment. Let's say you are renting somewhere and you're just changing. You're moving out and changing. Or if you've been, let's say, um, doing some construction works, you know, around your apartment, like renovating it, redesigning it, by 21st of July, those works might be finishing. You might finally move in into your fresh apartment and finally uh, settle all those uh, construction and fixing things around, you know, because uh, this full moon will be in conjunction with Pluto. It seems like you will enjoy the result because Pluto will be in your house of joy, fifth house. And it might be also, uh, as I said about immigration, you know, it might be your kids' immigration or someone from your family immigration, but most it's most likely about your kids because Pluto will be in the fifth house and fifth house is all about our children. Now, if you've been, uh, let's say, trying to move your kids or actually your kids, let's say they grew up and they're going to somewhere to study and they are moving out or vice versa, moving in and like you are reuniting with your kid and if you've been busy with the papers your uh, kids papers you know your children's papers uh, like immigration papers 21st of July will be the day like around this day uh, the decision might come out and some sort of news might come out to that application to that of the case of yours because Mars that is supporting that full moon is also situated in that travel foreign you know a paper house kind of immigration house nine house now, uh, and here, uh, you know, Neptune, because it's in your uh, sixth house, house of work, seems like might be um, your work and your colleagues might be very supportive of whatever you've been going to accomplishing around this full moon, my dear Libras. Also, fourth house is about, uh, you know, um, citizenship and immigration. As I said, it might be either your immigration, either your family, it's either your kids. So the one main thing to remember is that this full moon is focused in your fourth house and will bring your whole full attention to that uh, house in your chart. And lastly, Sun on 22nd of July, Sun, our giver of life, light of our universe, will move into your 11th house. You know, when Sun moves into your 11th house, your attention will switch into your future. Your attention will switch into your uh, wishes and hopes and plans for your future because 11th house is all about that. And also it's about our friends. You're, you might be mingling, jingling, you know, <laughs> whole July is seems sort of, sort of, seem kind of like um, uh, with your friends, within your friends, you know, and it will be, it, and it will keep making you busy um, until end of July, you know, and when sun hits your 11th house, you will be enjoying your friendship circle and whatever social clubs you might be joining new social club you might be joining new social circles you know some of those clubs of interest i don't know chess interest or hockey whatever is that you might be finding actually new kind of faces that will become your friends and will stay in your life for a long time my dear libras now this was your horoscope for july stay tuned for august and don't forget to check your rising sign meaning ascendant and moon sign because those are very important for me personally my ascendant works you know unmistakably uh for me it's always um either ascendant or my sun sign and lastly only moon sign but but for my mom for example her moon sign is very strong and it works like a clock and if she always goes for her moon sign you know horoscope to check but anyhow check all your three signs to get the fuller picture of the month and you might also get you know um that's how you might get noticed which sign is more strongly let's say currently in this period of life affecting you uh stay tuned for august i love you all bye bye